G'day guys, it's a bit windy and cooler than I'd like, but I've come back to the Elmore Weir to chase a few more yellow belly. I'm recording my intro from way back here, because I don't know how much chance you got of hearing me once I'm up standing next to that waterfall. <laughs> Let's catch some fish. Well, I'll have to come back with the corn. Apparently people are having a blast with the carp here. <laughs> Not surprising considering how many of them were flopping around near me the last time I was here. Anyway, a bit further to go. Well, it looks like it's gone up a bit since last time I was here. I was fishing down there and there was a bloke standing on the walkway here, but that's underwater now. Uh, I guess I can put in some casts from here and see how I go. <laughs> Well, I've done no good up there against the wall, probably because there's more current in that than there was the other day. So I've come down a little bit. There's less current here. I'll wait out a bit in my gum boots and hopefully find a yellow here where the water's a little bit calmer. Yes, there we go. <laughs> I was half daydreaming. I gave it a little pause and I was looking over that way somewhere and this guy, he's this uh, little yellow come and smash it. What am I hooked on there? There we go. <laughs> Let's have a look at him. God, he'd be close to not even being 30 centimeters. Gee whiz, the water's quite warm considering the temperature's not that hot. He can't go far. I'm just grabbing my pliers out. Let him flop around. I just noticed he's got all three trebles in his gob, so I don't really want to pull that out with my fingers. Come on, mate. Let's have a look at ya. One more hook, mate. There we go. Let's have a quick look and get him swimming. Yeah, he'd be 29, 30 centimetres. Just a little guy. <laughs> See ya, buddy. Off he goes. <laughs> Fish number one, so I was right. There's more current up there today. So they've come back just a little bit to pick the food off in the calmer water. All right, let's get some more. <laughs> and that first guy was caught on this Bassman Tubby Native Minnow. I love these things for yellow belly. They only dive to about a metre, but in this sort of water, they're absolutely perfect. All right, well, I've been flicking this around for a while longer. Haven't seen any more fish, so I'll go for a lure change. I'll see if a different colour will bring a few more unstuck. I'll clip on my favourite little yellow spinnerbait. I caught a yellow on this last time I was here. Let's give it a crack in this spot. Well, I am... Um, uh, hoisting my spinnerbait back up the tree. I've gone over that little branch somehow. Uh, now, yep, there we go. <laughs> if I catch a car, uh, fish on this cast, I'll be impressed. Well, I've cast here for a while, no more fish. I might try the spinnerbait back up near the wall and then I'll try over where I was the other day. Try a few different things. There's bound to be more hungry yellows in here. No good at the wall once again. I've come back to where I was casting from the other day with the hope that I can pick up a couple here again or even one more or even none more. I've already caught a fish. I'm having fun just being here.
Yes. He's a bit bigger than the first one. <laughs> he was just sitting out here too. Yes. You beauty. I reckon he's over 40, this one. All right. Let's get the pliers out again. I might even get the mat. Let's get a measure of this one. I'll just keep him in the edge of the water there for now. Pliers. We'll grab the lip grips so I don't... Oh, he got off. You cheeky bugger. I was doing the right thing and leaving him in the water. <laughs> oh, well, they're out for next time. Oh, bugger. <laughs> I'm counting that just like last time. He was landed. He was literally on land. That's landed. It doesn't matter if I touched him or not. <laughs> he was a good fish, that one. the wind playing with the bubbles over there that's awesome the corner of my eye that looked really weird I didn't know what was going on <laughs> oh that was definitely a follow did you see that he would have been just here where I caught the last one too I reckon they're following it in Number three, I've just got to get, oh, he got off. I was going to say, I've just got to get him in. <laughs> Maybe I've got a blunt hook on this spinnerbait. You bugger. <laughs> that happened the other day too. I lost a couple on this spinnerbait. What's going on? No, it feels plenty sharp. <laughs> just unlucky. Oh, bugger. Oh, the carp are back. I just saw one break the surface there. I am going to have to come back in the next couple of days with a big tin of corn, I think, and try and add to the pile of carp that everyone else has got laying around. Got him. Another little guy like the first one. Let's just hoist him up, he'll be right. You ripper, you're not getting off mate. I'm gonna have a look at you. He might be even smaller than the first one. <laughs> Gorgeous little specimen. Now, he's definitely hooked. Look, it's sharp, it's penetrated his whole lip. There's no problem with that. Come on mate, oof. You're my number three for the day. It would have been four, but the other cheeky one got off out too far to look at. Got a couple of marks there, probably where a cormorant or something's tried to grab him when he was younger. <laughs> All right, mate. Well, thank you very, very much for being yellow number three. I'll see you later. Oh, that was a touch. Only just cast out after letting that little one go. And uh, something hit that. It's a definite hit on the way through. I'll try and cast back out the same spot. If, if that was a fish, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was. He's out in the current out there. Got him. Yes. Come on. Oof. Come on. I don't want to lose you, mate. I've lost a few lately like that. 
come on, let me look at you. <laughs> They're just getting off the hook real easy for some reason. Let me, let me get my thumb in. We'll give you a wash. Oh, all right. There you go. Beautiful yellow belly. The colors on that one are spectacular. Bit of a scrape on the tail there. What a beautiful fish. And you know what I might actually call this session? I haven't kept the fish in a very long time and it's been even longer since I kept the yellow. And this one, I had to work for it. I copped a bit of a spike trying to stop him from getting away. So I earned this fish. I earned my dinner. I'm taking him home. <laughs> Well, I landed four yellow belly. I hooked a fifth one, but he got off somewhere out in the middle. And I got to take this one home. He's about 40 centimeters. Gonna cook him up for dinner tonight. Hopefully you enjoyed watching the video, guys. I'll see you next time.